Some people say I'm dodgy. I just think I'm resourceful. Watch this not work now. <laughs> It worked. It worked well. Seven thirty in the morning. Uh, he's been here for about forty minutes. We had a coffee, had a chat. Uh, he's just starting because it had to wait until I got a bit later before he made a whole bunch of noise. So now he's just scraping back. So I can park the cars over there, and then we're going to start on a different part of the yard. Just doing the gardening on a Saturday morning. Just scrape it back, easy enough. He's having fun by the looks of it. So he scraped the spot, put the cars back over there. Got a little vegetation pile going, because you can't take that. And then he's just starting behind the shed, because there's a bunch of green stuff back there. So he's going to go along and get all the green stuff, pile it all up over there and then do the whole backyard in one go with all just the dirt. It's gonna be completely different, but still dirt and flat. Duty. So if I see dust, I squirt it. Hard life. So he's just made himself a, spl a flat spot here that's the right level and then he's reversed onto it and he's got a little plow thing at the front and just scraping it all towards the back corner. So there's a high spot through the middle and it drops off at the back so he reckons we'll be able to cut it down 100 mil off the concrete and push it all to the back and it should level out pretty well and there shouldn't be too much to uh, take away or cut away. And Dad rocked up, so he's on hose duty, brought us breakfast. So we're just chipping away at it, and I got the hyperlapse going. So that'll be in here somewhere. Hopefully it's not too boring. But progress is progress, so this is pretty good. I'm helping. That is solid.
<laughs> it's a big lump of wood. So we're done for the day, everyone's packed up, it's all gone. So we've got a trench for the power to go to the current shed. And then we're going to try and do this this week, get the electrician in. And then the excavator bloke's coming back next week, fill in the trench, take this stuff away. And then that's the yard, it's all really flat and really level. Looks really good. And he found heaps of bricks and heaps of concrete and stuff, that's alright. So it's all coming together. Uh, we haven't started the front yard, we'll do that next week. But we got the A-frame stood up. It's a little bit flimsy. But, we can work with that now. And I'll get the old pole out for the gate, and that's about it. So, next week, come and fill this in. Grab all that stuff, which is all the green bits and pieces. And then start on the front yard. Solid day's work. I'm absolutely knackered. So we had a bit of an accident with the trench digger on the weekend. Um, so this pipe used to connect to that pipe and we broke out the middle bit. I've already cut off the smashed part and the elbow but that's the drain from the gutter and then on the second bucket we took this one out which is the drain from the kitchen. So I've just cleaned this out and cleaned around the pipe, cut that one back waiting for the reciprocating saw to charge and then I'm going to cut this one off so back there and down here so it's just a 90, a little bit of pipe, and then a 45, or not even a 45, a 20 maybe. Um, so Dad gave me a bunch of fittings yesterday, so that's the one of them, and that's the 90. So we just need a 90, a little piece of straight, and then that other joiner, and we'll be back on the road. And then up here, we just need a 90, and then a joiner over there with a bit of pipe. So that's these two here. So yesterday I fixed this top hose. Uh, heaps more glue than it needs to be, but that's all sweet, I'm pretty sure. So I cut the bottom one. But it was full of water yesterday, so today I'm going to try and dig it out so I can get access to it. And then tomorrow I'll get the last little few bits I need and connect that back together. But for tonight, I want to cut a channel out of the concrete here so that I can run the power down the wall under here and through the trench to the shed. So there's a spiky coming tomorrow to run that in. So I may as well try and cut this now and then he can just run it straight in the hole rather than him just lay it over the top and then I have to work around it. So I'm going to mark this out so I can put a brick in it sideways like that because chances are I won't concrete this for ages so cut the concrete that wide, chisel it out, put the bricks in there once the wires are in there. So that's easy enough. So I just got the grinder and the dome blade so I'm just going to cut a line and then chisel all that concrete out. So there's our line, just drawn it 80mm from the edge of the concrete so I'll just cut through what I can with the angle grinder and then hammer and chisel. So yesterday I dug out the concrete. It took about two hours, it took way longer than it should have, but got it done. Spiky came today. So when I had the house rewired for all of the renovations, uh, I got him to add all the stuff for the shed, all the wiring for the shed in this corner. So he's just run it down the wall through that channel that I made and the whole way through the trench. And then it's just sitting up there next to the shed. So there's nothing in the shed that's actually been wired up yet. But at least the power's there so I can fill the trench in. Um, and I've got a plumber coming in about an hour. So he's going to run a line for a tap as well. And then I may as well run internet while I'm in there as well. And then got some sand to chuck on top of it. Probably not enough, but that's all it would give me in the trailer. So once this plumber's been, and I'll go get a piece of conduit from inside in the shed. Lay it in there so I can poke the internet cable through. I'll put the sand in. And then need to push some of this in so I can get the cars out the back because this is annoying me and the front yard is full of cars. So hopefully tonight, get the plumbing done, 
get a length of conduit in there so that I can poke the cable through at a later date. Put the sand in a small spot so I can get the dirt on top and then run the cars over the top and then move everything from out the front, out the back. All right, so the plumber just left. He has put in a hard line from here down into the trench all the way along and it pops up at the other end next to the electrical cable. So I just went to Bunnings, bought a bunch of tubes and now I'm going to run cat cable, so um, internet cable through that and in the tunnel as well, in the trench, sorry. So we'll have water, power and electricity in there. And then I need to fix this 100 mil pipe still. But hopefully tonight I'll get all three of these finished up, put some sand in, put some dirt in and then I can get the cars across. Okay, so now I have the tedious task of feeding the cat cable through the PVC. So PVC, joiner, PVC, and then you just use this glue stuff, blue glue. So run it around the edge of this, put the joiner on, twist it, do the same to here, twist it uh, once it's in. So that'll join that all nicely. And then come along here, got the 90 and a short bit. So that's that end. So it comes up 90 degrees, comes along here, and then I'll do this end once it's in the hole. Um, normally I would start at this end, but just in case I haven't got all the bits, I'd like to try and get that half filled with sand uh, today. So if I run out of bits, I'm at that end, because that's where the 100 mil pipe is as well. All right, so last night I got the internet cable run. So you can see it up the end there, the PVC on the angle. And then I've used some sand and then put the internet cable on top. So it's uh, 200 between the electrical and the internet. Apparently that's the go underground. And then we got a lot of sand here and then I've put some dirt back on it and used it as a driveway so I can get the cars out the back again. So I'm just going to put the sand in this half and the warning tape and lay the pipes back in. So I've just finished off this 100 mil repair section. So this was a pain in the bum because it didn't really fit uh, very well so I had to slide the joiner you can see here all the way onto the piece where the 90 is and then put it all in place and then put glue and everything and then slide the joiner back. So it was a bit of a pain but it's all worked together. And the internet cable still stops about here. So I have to do this end still as well. So I'm going to have a break from this corner for a while because I've been sitting in there for ages and it's a pain in the bum. So I'm going to run some sand in here. Put the, oh sorry, put the tap and the electrical back in there. Run some sand. Put the internet back on top. I did a little bit more sand to do over that side. And then I'll tackle this corner and then finish off with the sand in this corner. And that'll be it for now until Saturday when he can come and push all this back in and grab that pile. Alright, so we've got the tap line in, got the electrical and got the internet. And it's plumbed all the way up to here into the slit that I cut in the concrete. Haven't done that bit yet, I'll do that later. So now I can shovel all the sand and fill in this bit. Um, this bit of sand's all good, I'm just going to run the tape and then I can put dirt on top. And that bit over there, I'm just going to put a bit more sand over there and then run the tape and put dirt on top. So let's bury all my hard work. Alright, so we got all the sand in, got the danger tape in, chucked a little bit of dirt in just to hold the tape down. So I'll get him to fill up the hole a bit and I'll put another roll of tape. I'm not sure what the uh, regulations are, but too much tape's better than no tape. And then this end's done as well. But as you can see, the internet is higher than the other stuff, so I'll get him to put a bit of dirt in and then I'll do another roll of tape. So pretty much done. Just got to uh, backfill it on Saturday. I feel like people don't understand how big my backyard really is. It's fantastic. So it's day two of the yard work. He's just got here and he's pulling the rose bushes out. So it's 7.30 in the morning. So he's just taking the rose bushes out. And last night I took the stones back, took the weed mat out and took the garden edging out. So this is all gonna go down 100 mil and then we'll put grass here later. And then on this side, we're gonna take it down 100 mil again and concrete it at some point. And then the last thing you're gonna do today is take away this pile of rubbish and fill the trench in. So it should be a pretty productive day and hopefully make a whole lot of difference. So he's made short work of that. Ripped out the rest of the garden edging and the three or four rose bushes. Now we're going around the back to fill in the trench.
we got it all loaded up. Just breaking off what's left now. Got all the cars in the backyard. Got the trench filled in. And the front yard has had the rose bushes ripped out, but we haven't dug out the dirt yet. Getting there. So we're all finished out the back now. Just driving out the front. So we shut the gate. And then we start on the front yard. What are you doing, Felix? Alright, so we're finally finished in the front yard. So we've taken it down 100mm at the concrete and slopes a little bit towards the drive and then it's about 100mm lower at this end as well. So it's not as flat as the backyard but it's definitely down that fair bit. Then this section here, which is where we're going to concrete, and it goes out the back a little bit. We've come to the pole, so we're probably going to go concrete from that join straight across. So we've dug it a little bit past that so we can put a board in to cap it off. So that's all going to be concrete. And at the back just there's a little corner just there that needs to be concreted as well. And then we are playing with the idea of concreting from this join here to the front corner. So that'll give us another couple of foot just to be able to park two cars side by side which would be really nice uh, on the concrete and all of this section is going to be lawn so that's it for this week's episode thanks for watching and i'll see you next week